Time to get herpes on my lip, dude. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video here on the Strawberry Jam channel. Today, I'm joined by my friend, Mr. Manbon, uh, and we're bringing you a beautiful Q&A. No, I'm being serious. My hair's going through this uh, awkward phase where uh, I'm I'm questioning whether I should grow it out, or I'm questioning whether I should cut it all off. And uh, every time I question it between you guys, the viewers, the people who mean the most to me, apart from like my family and my friends and stuff, I guess you guys mean the most to me, because you guys are the ones who judge me the most. It's always always like a 50-50 decision whether I should like cut my hair off or just keep it on. So I feel like I'm just gonna keep it on because I'm like literally terrified of getting a haircut. Like seriously, there's like a top five fears of mine and like, you know, haircutting is like probably like around here at number three. Or maybe here at number two. And gas masks are here at number one. I regret saying that. Now everyone's gonna tweet me pictures of people wearing gas masks. Anyway, figured I'd bring you guys- what the heck was that? Anyway, I figured I'd bring you guys a little- Different kind of video because it's been it's been a while since I've done a video sitting at my computer with my face at it I don't know why though. I literally just got this new webcam. I how okay. I'll show you I was like, how the heck do I show them my new webcam bro? Look at this ready. I got this new webcam Oh, oh what the f what is that? There we go. <laughs> that should make life a little bit easier. I got this new little webcam. It's a Logitech C930E. It looks really pretty, but like during the night, it makes everything like weird. I also have my beautiful Christmas lights on display right now, and I also think that messes with it. And Santa Claus and his one reindeer because because I'm not gonna spend six hundred dollars getting twelve of those reindeers. Wait, are there twelve reindeer? Who cares, bro? Also got my Christmas tree here, feeling really festive right now. Don't know if you can quite see it. There it is, dude. That's my Christmas tree. All right. What do you expect, bro? I'm a bachelor. You think I'm gonna have a freaking like family, like nice, like beautiful looking Chris? No, dude. I'm a teenage boy living in his own apartment, so this is this is a stupid tree that I wasted money on. I think it's classy, not gonna lie. But anyway, your boy's back in town giving you a little question and answer video. And uh, I don't know, actually, the last time I did a question and answer, I used to do these all the time back in the day when I just couldn't think of a video idea. And it's not the fact that I can't think of a video idea, but today's reason is because I spent money getting this new webcam, and I kind of need a video to pay back the money I spent on this webcam. Anyway, let's move straight into these questions. The first question comes from Olivia, and they ask, what are you doing for Christmas this year? It's a pretty interesting question since uh, the time of year is in fact Christmas and uh, you're wondering what I'm doing for Christmas this year. So actually this year's Christmas, I'm not actually too sure. If you guys didn't know, Straub's a German surname. My family's German, my dad's side of the family. And since my parents is kind of like not together anymore, we, we celebrate Christmas. I, I celebrate Christmas with my dad on the 24th and then I celebrate Christmas with my mom on the 25th and it kind of works out like that because my dad's German, my mom's not German. <laughs> my mom's from England but she sounds Australian and my dad is from Germany. And he sounds Australian. Who cares? But uh, the way it works out is so we have like the Deutsch Christmas with my with my dad's side of the family, and then we have like another Christmas with my mom's side of the family. So it's two Christmases, which I absolutely love. And even before my parents split up, we always celebrated both Christmases, which is like awesome. Cause like like if you guys have a German family, you know about German Christmas and then regular Christmas. It is like the best combination ever. But I think on the 24th, I'm gonna go down to my dad's beach house or my grandma's house, whatever it is. I'm gonna celebrate Christmas with that side of the family, and then on the 25th, I think I'm going to my mom's house. And I think it's just my mom, my brother, and me for Christmas this year. It's like the smallest, like most simplest Christmas ever. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like breakfast and then, I don't know, like exchange gifts or something. And then I think we're going to get Chinese food at like 5.30. And then we're gonna go on like a Ferris wheel. Like that's it, dude. It's, it's a very simple Christmas this year, but I don't mind. As long as I get to hang out with my family, I'm good. I'm not looking for no like amazing like Christmas, like holiday vacation. Nothing extravaganza you ever refer to. I'm like literally like my goal for Christmas is to, to come home and just like be able to like that was Christmas dude that was good and then just get back right here and start making videos for you guys for your Christmas presents because this is all I can like really give next question comes from Logan they ask if you could date any celebrity who would it be oh dude Logan this is a tough choice we're stuck between like Jennifer Aniston and like Taylor Swift you know is it bad that I sort of lean towards Taylor Swift a little bit more because she has a Twitter like Jennifer Aniston like girl where's your freaking Twitter bro like are you serious how the heck am I supposed to send you like creepy fan tweets without you having a Twitter anyway nonetheless I think the, 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 the short story behind it is Jennifer Aniston you are beautiful but you are in fact like three times my age maybe if Jennifer Aniston somehow went into like a way back machine and like turn into like her 1990s self where she was like in her 20s actually was she in her 20s in the 90s anyway who cares like the jennifer aniston from friends maybe she could turn back into that one to the good old days but i feel like i'm sticking with taylor swift was was this one taylor swift okay i feel like i'm sticking with taylor swift on this one because she's more of my age but i think she's like 
She's nearly 30, bro. Oh, I'm nearly 20, though, so... Nonetheless, it's Taylor Swift or Willem Dafoe. Next question comes from Natasha. Next question comes from Natasha. I'm pretty sure, otherwise I just butchered your name. Nonetheless, they ask, what is your all-time favorite Christmas movie? I don't know, dude. Like, I'm at the early stage of, like, adulthood. And throughout my entire, like, life, Christmas movies have just changed me. Like, as you age throughout the years, you sort of, you know, watch more mature movies or you get into more different movies or movies that you watch when you're younger sort of phase out. And I feel like I've gone to the point where it's like, yo, bro, now's your time where you can watch any kind of movie F pick your favorite but i can't think of one right now so i'm just gonna say deck the whole starring danny devito <laughs> even though i don't remember the plot of it got a question from rosie lee saying what is the next gaming convention you're going to that will be pack south in january slash february it's more february because it's like one day in january but yeah i'll be attending pack south with a lot of my friends uh it's been like six months since i've seen really six months september november december oh no it would have been like five months since i've seen them but yeah dude i'm excited for pack south dude it's gonna be in san antonio so it's not gonna be too hot too cold it's gonna be that, like that mid-range weather that i sort of like we got a super nice place that we're staying with thailand the resort and uh, i think i'm gonna be on a panel and some other stuff i don't know ha is it bad that every time I think of just like traveling and conventions and stuff, it literally like I feel like I'm losing my head. I feel like my eyebrows are gonna fall out, dude. Get, I get a little bit too stressed about it, bro. Like let's, come on. Dude. Oh, all I can think about right now is dating Taylor Swift, bro. That would be cool. Maybe she could shout out my YouTube channel. Now she'll probably break up with me and write a song about me. Next question comes from Hugh, and they ask, "Can you please play WWE 2K16? Maybe create Strobe Cena and give him John Cena's moves and entrance." Honestly, that could like easily happen if you guys want to see that as a thing. I don't know, like like the video or something. I have WWE 2K15 on my PC, but like literally, like like I have like no idea how to play it, bro. Like I played it once and I got absolutely like bummed, dude. Like it was no, it was not a good time. I used to be really good at wrestling games, bro. Like I used to create my own like wrestlers and freaking like just wreck them on like legendary. But no, dude, I suck now. But yeah, that could be a thing, bro. That could have easily happened. This question comes from Tia, and she asks, top or bottom? I assume you're talking about bunk beds. Uh, I'm more of a bottom guy. Like, uh, like I'm like six foot, 200 pounds. You want me to go on the top bunk? Like, are you serious, bro? And plus, I'm just always scared that I'll just, like, somehow fall off of a top bunk. I think I have fallen off a top bunk. I don't know. Me and my brother would always take turns on bunk beds when we stayed at our beach house when we were little. And, like, I feel like, well, the bunk beds actually got turned into, like, single beds. Bro, I don't know. I'm always a bottom person. I'll go I'll go bottom bunk. My, my buddy can go top bunk. Or lady, or, like, whatever you're talking about. Next question comes from Snowmanna. I guess your name's Anna. Otherwise, this is really awkward so are you ever thinking about getting rid of the dude he's right here you gotta make bro don't you don't you listen to them, bro? You're cool. Guys, seriously, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed over the last couple years, I've sort of gone from, like, this, like, scruffy little teenage boy to, you know, like, I started wearing, like, little collared shirts and stuff, and, like, I started wearing freaking, like, khaki pants, and, like, I'm growing into an adult, dude. I feel like I need to get a little bit more classy, and I feel like this man bun adds a little bit more class to me, but it also, like, has that side of it where it's like, oh, bro, I wonder if he's gonna let his man bun down at the party. I don't know, actually, probably not. Yeah, so I'll probably get rid of it tomorrow. Next question comes from Heather. She says, this is on my camera. Well, how do you feel about this? Well, <laughs> well, Heather. We got Mary Karim Karis. Karis, I'm dyslexic. Will you ever release merchandise? Uh, yeah, I actually have a couple of designs coming out soon. I'm not too sure about certain ones because uh, my designs are going to be coming out on Maker Shop. So I have to talk with those guys before they get released. So I'm not too sure about them. But I got this little strawberry guy made. This is Kawaii Strawberry. Uh, he's going to be on a shirt. There's also a Christmas one, but it's a little bit too late for Christmas because I didn't organize it beforehand. But, but here's a little Christmas guy. I also got the sandwich shirt coming back uh, because a lot of people wanted it. So if you want to get a sandwich on a shirt, you can get it. But yeah, I'm going to be releasing that again. And also, I see this a lot. Like, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this. They release a shirt where it's like some sort of like motivational quote. And I don't want to take myself too seriously. Seriously, so I made a somewhat motivational quote and basically it goes live your life one laugh at a time Uh, and it's it's just like a dumb shirt like it's like someone will see and they'll be like, oh wow That's a motivational. What does it say? But yeah, if you want to get that on a shirt that, It's like a it's like a pretty generalized like text looking shirt And then also if you have any more ideas for shirts, I'll uh, leave them down below uh, I also want I also want to get a shirt that has like a just like a little one bar on it because that's literally all I am I'm just one bar connection because I'm Australian and no one loves me next question comes from Claudie love straw They said a guy is trying to break into your apartment. One second, I live on like the 10th floor. You need a key to get into the apartment. Then you also need a key for the 10th floor to get up here. Don't know how some guy's gonna break into the apartment. Let's rephrase it. A neighbor is breaking into your apartment. What is the first thing to your left that you use as a weapon? Well, in fact, there's a lot of things to my left. 
I got my I got my iPhone 6s plus. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a meme dude. It's an iPad. I got my new phone I got my monster energy sponsor. I got my uh, wallet I could use my keys and show it right in their eye But the most important thing is right on top of my computer right here I keep my most deadliest weapon at all in my house because this is where I spend most of my time sadly But right on top of my computer. I have I have this and you're like what, what the heck is that bro? But if I unclip this little guy down here and I pull this out like literally if some guy here wants to come through that door and I have this right to my left, huh, he's pretty much screwed. I want to get like a mount for this just to put it in my desk. Not for, not for like any reason though, but just, just how cool would that be? Like imagine like a mount right here, dude. So like in case someone comes in, I'm like, it's like a classic burglary scenario. There's like a glass smashing sound. What is that sound? Ching! Like it's just right there, bro. Grace Smith asks, would you ever go to Tasmania? I, I've been there once and the thing I enjoyed the most was probably the ride there or the ride back. Crystal asks, can you raise one eyebrow without moving the other one? Am I doing it? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm no rock, but dude, I tried my best. Hopefully I didn't cause too much pain and endurance of you having to sit through this video. If you guys want to see more Q&As like this, I don't know, slap your desk. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it for me. And um, subscribe or there'll be something bad at your doorstep tomorrow.